Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another haul video. <laughs> As if I don't have enough supplies. There's always more to buy, that's the problem. But either way, I have quite a bit um, to go through. So I will kind of scooch some stuff out of the way. Some of these you've probably already seen me swatch on camera. That's just because I'm an impatient human. <laughs> I can't wait for the end of the month. And then I do have some happy mail in here that I'll also share. So yeah, let's dive in. Okay. So first things first, as I've told you guys, I'm getting back into watercolors, uh, not just for my coloring books, but in general, I love to do loose watercolors and whatnot. And I've always heard a lot about the Jane Davenport watercolors. So I found them on Amazon. You can find anything on Amazon. <laughs> so I bought her Brights, Neutral, and Glitz C. Now I'm not sure if there's other ones. I have already swatched this one. And probably by the time this posts, I will have swatched these on camera. But I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, this one's already open, so you can see. But it's like this cute little tin, which, by the way, is in my favorite color. And you open it up as perfect little mixing palettes um, she actually gives you a swatch card and it's on watercolor paper which people normally don't do they just throw on crap paper and then you have your palettes they are individually wrapped when they come and they're no longer labeled once you remove the label so you almost want to keep this in there so you can remember what's what um, they were a pain to unwrap but I mean the colors were beautiful I mean look at those colors and you'll see my other swatch ones too. So get those out of the way. Okay, and then I bought the Colero, I think that's how you say it, Pro Colors. I have always wanted to get these. I've seen so many colorists use it on their channel. So these are those watercolors that have like a very awesome metallic finish and they come in this plastic case which is good and they're actually secured each one of these palettes they're secured in there so they're not going anywhere so this is actually really good packaging so once I swatch these which I may have already done by the time this posts um I can you know just leave them in here I'm probably just going to take this and tape it to the back here because it tells me the colors and the numbers and then I can get rid of the box. But first, I have to swatch them on camera for you guys. Super excited for those. I think that'll be enough metallic paints, maybe. We'll see. Okay, you know I love glitter. So I found these on Amazon. Just stumbled across them. They're 24 glitter paint pens. So it's not really 24, though. It's 12. <laughs> 12 large and 12 medium tips. Um... So basically, here is, like, so here's a, I guess this is the medium, they call it, but they're water-based, so I'm kind of curious to see how these work, and then, like, you'll have the fine tip one as well in there, but um, they work kind of similar to Posca. You have to shake them up, because you'll see how they're all separated, and I will be swatching these on camera before this video posts, so who knows? I may hate them, love them, return them, <laughs> but I'm super excited to try them out. So definitely uh, look for the swatching video on those. I did my usual Blick order because a girl can never have enough open stock Christmas. And so I just replenished all my ones that I was running low on. So I guess you can kind of tell what colors I've been using this month. <laughs> so this is just going into my jars of open stock pencils that I have kind of hanging around. Okay. And then I did get my Copics. Like I said, every month I buy 10 Copics. This month I'm trying something a little different. So I've been buying the sketches, but those are about $5.99-ish a piece, whereas the chows are three something. So I can get 10 of these without breaking 40 bucks, whereas the others, it's like 60. 
Now they hold less ink, but when it comes to buying the refills, it's not a big deal. I mean, I'll just refill it more often, so that might get obnoxious, but it's the same thing. It has the brush nib and it has the um, chisel nib. Like nothing's changed there. It's smaller. The only thing is it only has the number here and not, um, oh, there's the name and the number. But uh, like on the sketch, you know, it's printed on the top. So when I put these in my marker storage, that will be a little annoying. Um, there are stickers you can buy to put on the ends, but I am a lazy person. I'm just going to take a Sharpie and write the code and call it a day. But I thought I would show you guys the colors that I've added and we'll add it to my swatch chart. So let me grab that. Okay, so I have added um, Coral R35. See on these ones, okay, so the little band is right there. Excuse the paint, I'm painting some storage boxes. So R35. It's kind of weird holding these little ones in your hand. The sketch are almost more comfortable. Okay, and then I added YR07, which is cadmium orange. Y R O seven. Like I said, what I do is I look up color combos that people are using and I buy the ones that I don't have. Light pink RV twenty one. I'm not sure if I'll keep buying the chows or not, I'll be honest with you. I don't like the way they feel in my hand. Uh, BV04, which is uh, blueberry. So BV04. I actually like the oval shape of the sketch. Call me crazy. All right, and then we have BG05, holiday blue. It's so crazy how many more of these I still have to get. <laughs> Oh no. All right, BG10, which is cool shadow. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty color. I've never met a BG color I don't like though. All right, YG09, which is lettuce green. Not shabby. BG49, which is duck blue. Chart is definitely starting to fill out, but we have so many more to go. <laughs> Cerise RV06. Yeah, that's a bright one. Bright, bright. Okay, and then we have um, Crimson RV29. Trying to stay in the lines. All right, so I have added 10 more and look at all that white space. <laughs> That's so defeating. Um, like I've said before though, I don't have any intention as of right now of buying any of these grays. Um, that's because I already have a ton of grays from my Ohuhu's. I mean, Ohuhu went gray crazy. I mean, they got blue grays, like red grays. I don't know, they got grays coming out their ears. So I have no intention right now of buying these grays, but I still have, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Oh, and um, thank you. Um, I had a few of you donate on my co- Kofi, Kofi, I don't know how to say it, for Copic markers. Uh, that was extra cool of you. So thank you for that. I will be putting that towards next month's Copic purchase. Um, so that was really awesome. Okay, uh, some happy mail. So my friend Ryan over at Glitter Grunge Greetings and Color and Recover, he has two channels because he likes to stay busy. He sent me these Copic color swatch cards. So if you've never seen these, these are nifty, nifty little things, okay? So you'll find the color and what you do 
is um, you'll do color the whole thing in and then color box one and two and then just color box one and it shows you because Copics are a layering marker they actually perform better with layers not just slap on one coat and call it a day so this kind of shows you how they layer and the different depth of that color you can get so I thought this was so cool that he sent me these and the they're on great paper and then they just come in this little envelope and so I can stick this right in my um, marker storage ca uh, cabinet and yeah so I'm going to actually use these and I might do some of these on camera to show you guys because these are extra cool I was really excited okay and then Ryan again somehow the sneaky man he is knew I was looking for some new watercolor um, brushes and so he sent me these ones they're transient art brushes and he had mentioned that uh, he loves these for watercoloring and I can see why they have the long tips to them so that's always a good sign for watercolor brushes but I'm actually really excited to use these um, yeah I, that was just so sweet and so sneaky because I don't know how he knew I was on the hunt for watercolor but thank you Ryan again I thanked him personally, but I'm thinking him publicly. Okay, in this really bad packaging that I should have opened first, we have, oh my gosh, Amazon. <laughs> okay, move that to the side. So these are stencil brushes, flat stencil brushes. I bought these because my lovely friend, Karen Valentine, was uh, giving me some advice on using my gelatos when I want to use them dry and these are the ones she uses she can you know use it on a palette and uh, bring them over to the page but these are the short ones so I bought these ones just so I'd get the same effect okay and then I bought shake it up some liquid frisket um, liquid frisket is basically like a liquid masking solution you basically can apply it um, wherever you want to protect the surface so like when I'm watercoloring like something or even doing a background on a page I can lay this down and then um, it'll peel right off there's different types that one really needs to be shaken up oh my gosh look at that um, so there's different types of these but uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Blix liquid frisket, so I'm going to try it. Um, if I don't like it, I will be returning it for the Windsor Newton one because I've heard good things about that. But yeah, basically you, you can outline you know, your pages and your coloring books and then be sloppy and then you just have to make sure you always get this peeled off uh, pretty quickly, like 24, 48 hours max. <laughs> um, and then you should always have just a dedicated brush you use for this because that brush will be permanently destroyed. All right, then I got this monster paint palette and that's because I'm going to start getting into more large scale um, watercolor paintings. These will be outside of my coloring books. I might even sit on my deck and sketch the mountains and the water tower that I have a view of. So I wanted a bigger palette to pull all my watercolors from different palettes over and mix them in here and just have something easy. And I, um, I'm a rebel. I put these in the dishwasher. Yep, oh, that's right. Throw them in the dishwasher and they look as good as new when they're done. Okay, so that's all for coloring supplies. Um, other than, oh, I did buy the Albrecht Dewars, but I've already done a swatch on that. Um, I did buy those, <laughs> so I, that's kind of a big purchase to leave out, isn't it? But um, I did buy a few books. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't need more books. I blame all these channels and their freaking adorable books that they show off. So... The Flower Fairies. I saw this on Lucy Just Adds Color, and gosh darn it, Lucy. It is so pretty. I had to buy it. It is adorable. I mean, flippin' adorable. I mean, look at this. And it even tells you, like, it has the names of the pictures, so you can look them up. Oh my gosh, this book is so cute. 
it's a, a slightly toothier paper, but it's thick. And I'll do a full flip through. I probably will have already flipped through it on my channel by the time this airs. I'm basically recording this ahead of time because my desk has become overrun with haul items that I really need to put away. <laughs> so, yeah, I had to film this. Okay, so I had ordered some Coloring Heaven books. Um, bless Coloring Heaven. I get literally last month's news. So I just got the Fairies and Nature special, which was the um, May one. So I'll probably get June's in July. <laughs> and then I had um, ordered a couple others. I will do flip throughs. I wasn't going to originally, um, but a few of you have been really encouraging it. Even if they're old or they've been around, quite a few of you have said you want to know my thoughts and reactions, and that's a good point. So I will be flipping through these, all three, we'll just do in one video. But I also got the Witches Compendium. I couldn't help myself because, oh my gosh, they're all so pretty. <laughs> like, I saw it and I was like, yeah, it's not even Halloween, what's wrong with me? I mean, come on. And most of these Jasmine Beckett ones I already have, but you know what, it's okay, it's okay. And then I got the Fairy Stories Special. Because it was just flipping adorable. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. I got a problem. Definite problem. Okay, and then I blame Ryan, my buddy who sends me happy mail. Because he had this on his channel and I bought the darn thing because I was like, you know what, that's actually cute. I have been staying away from Camellia Angel Cova's um, 50 image ones because some of them are just too basic. I had bought like a fall one and it just uh, it was too simplified. Um, however this one is a lot more detailed. I mean look at that. Like this is stuff I can work with. It is on Create... Oh that one. Oh my gosh. I want to color that one like right now. Uh, it is on Create Space Paper, so obviously I'm going to break the spine, pull these apart, and scan them as I want. Uh, one of you requested a video on that, so maybe I'll do it with this one. But I will have a flip through on my channel of this one as well. And then I got this Alice in Wonderland one from Jade Summer because I have always wanted it and the price dropped. So... It's just super stinking cute. And again, I will do flip throughs of all of these on my channel later or before. Some of these will probably be on before. It is Create Space Paper again, so I'll have to scan and print. But, um, and it is the typical Jade Summer where the images repeat themselves. So you really get halfway through. Okay, this one. <laughs> Um, you're like, what are you, 12? Maybe. I don't know. It was so cute. I just, look at these uh, freaking adorable images. Tell me you can't say no to this. Like, look at this. I may end up just giving this to my daughter and scanning a few to color it. They just looked really fun to do with marker and even pencil. Um, either way, I'm going to do a flip through on my channel. I just thought it was so stinking cute. I mean, and my husband's looking at me like, what's wrong with you? How old are you? Like, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> okay, and then the one Teresa Goodridge book I didn't own, I thought I did, uh, was Summer Scenes. So this is a Creative Haven one. I will be doing a flip through of this one. I love her work. Oh my gosh, there's food. You guys know I love food. Well, eating and coloring food. So yeah, this one is going to be fun to color. And this paper is smooth and, as always, perforated edges. So you can just pull it out, color the page, slide it back in. I don't usually have to scan and put those on new paper unless I need watercolor or marker paper. Okay. 
And then, as if I didn't have enough freaking books, um, someone needs to seriously remove my book buying privileges, because my bookshelf, I'm pretty sure, is way past its weight rating. <laughs> so, let's just hope it holds on. So I got the fantasy collection. It took all four of Jade Summer's fantasy books into one. I'm really digging these collection books they're coming out with. One, because you don't get a book with duplicate images, because half the time I don't use the original paper. I'm always copying them, scanning them, putting them on paper I like. So it's kind of a waste. Um, and then two, it combines the four books in there. So no duplicates, you have four books in one. I've noticed they're slowly adding more and more of these. I have a chibi girl one and a kawaii girl one. And so I got this fantasy one. And I will be doing a flip through of this, but I mean, it is over 100 images. Some kind of creepy, some really cool, but it's just fun, I mean, all around good times, like mythical fairies. You got some creepy creatures and adorable little things. Look at that. But yeah, I mean, it is Create Space Paper. Well, that's a pretty one, actually. So I will be definitely scanning and putting these on paper I like. But still, they are very pretty. This one's from their mermaid book. But I didn't have any of these books, so it made sense to go ahead and buy this one. If you already own like a couple, then it might not make as much sense, but I will be doing a flip through of this one as well. I'm loving that they're combining them. Okay. Halfway through the year, I have bought the 2021 Creative Companion Organizer and Art Journal. <laughs> Thank you, Erica at Elm Colors. <laughs> she did like a little explanation video and I was like, gosh darn it, you know what? That is a good idea. And so here I am starting it in June, but it's nice. I've organized like my videos I want to record this month, um, hashtags I'm participating in for the month. I'll, my, I have a list in the back of special tutorials requested. I have a list for my hair series. Uh, so this actually is pretty nifty. I was just using a spiral bound notebook, but this is a lot more organized So I bought it and I don't regret it. I mean, I am halfway through the year, but it's fine. It wasn't that much Okay, and then the last ones are Watercolor paper. I am trying new ones. Um, I'm out of the watercolor game So it, it was rough to kind of go through and decide. So the first pad I bought was the Arteza Cold Press, um, 32 sheets. It is 140 pounds. It is double-sided though, which is cool. And it is some seriously thick, awesome, luscious watercolor paper. So I will be doing some work on it. I love how they have this though. So it flips open. But see how this isn't glued up here so you can actually peel off your pages easily uh, it does go through my printer as long as I do the if you have an option on your printer to feed it straight through from front to back and not roll through the drums it will print through there um, it, I do have to cut it though to eight and a half by eleven but I can you know do some coloring pages scan and print them on this too so I'm gonna try this one let you know what I think um, and then I bought these this two pack from US art supply so these are just 24 sheets um, this is a 90 pound one so it's not gonna be as thick as ugh, the other one but it is also cold press I'm just gonna show you <laughs> if I can get it out oh my goodness so this one has, they say it's white, but it's more of a grayish. And it definitely has a different texture than the Arteza one. So I'm going to be very curious to see and like compare these two. Like the Arteza one is a lot thicker, has a lot more grooves, but it also is a heavier weight. So that one is 140, 300 GS, or GM, ugh, GMS, while this one's 90 and 190. 
So if your printer can't handle the 140, it could totally handle this because this paper's thin enough, it bends. It had great reviews, so that's why I'm giving it a shot because I feel like um, this one is almost more cottony too than the Arteza one. So I, I'm digging the feeling of this, but we'll see. I'm gonna try them both out. Again, I, I do need to cut it to put it in my printer, but it's no big deal. Okay, sorry about that, I had to answer a phone call. But anyway, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'll test out both of these watercolor papers and let you guys know what I think. I know there's better brands and more expensive brands, but because I'm kind of just getting back into this, I felt like, you know what, I'm going to try cheaper paper because I'm obviously going to mess up quite often. And um, I don't want to waste a ton of money on like super expensive cotton cold pressed, you know, paper that's like $50 for one thing. Once I get better or if I start doing commissions down the road, then obviously I would do that. But yeah, that is it for this month's haul. It's a mixture of just about anything and everything. Um, but I will be doing the flip throughs of those books because I know you guys enjoy those. And then I will also be swatching out the rest of my Jane Davenport and the Colero um, Pearl Colors because I am very excited to do these myself. I'll actually swatch these on black and white like I did with my Kuretake ones just because I think it's kind of important to see how they show up differently on the different papers. But thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, take care.